utmost pride and sincerity that I present this recording as a living testament and recollection of history in the making during our generation. Let's go! Okay, it's time to start this review of Saints Row 4. Uh, wait, no, this is Saints Row 4. It's Saints Row. Let's see Gotta what these things help. can do. Although you could understand why I would think it would be Saints Row 4. It looks pretty much like fucking Steelport. Again! And the power system kind of works like it did in Saints Row 4, except now you can Lost fly. count on these things. Maybe one day I'll retire and have a view like this. Well, preferably not in hell, but hey, let's be realistic. This takes place after the events of Saints Row 4, and it goes... Pretty much, the boss gets sucked into hell by Satan, and you, being Johnny Gat, you have to go save him with Kenzie. Why? Because it's Kenzie's birthday. That's really the only re explanation why. Gotta find more of these things. Why she was brought along. Woo! There's no player customization in this game, but you can switch between Johnny and Kenzie. But let's face it, why wouldn't you want to play as Johnny? <laughs> He's the he's the best character after you know the Prez. I don't want to go too much into the story. It's horribly short, and a lot of the story and backstory and post story Need to rest the wings. is told throughout this like storybook kind of thing where you don't see little cutscenes. It's just it's it's kind of a disappointment. Really, not what you will be you would expect from Saints Row, especially from a standalone game like this was supposed to be. Although they do bring back a lot, a good amount of characters from uh, the Saints Row universe. And I'll admit, Satan One is more. pretty is a pretty funny character. I think they may have yeah. gone like, what the hell's that? The guy from Family Guy's name, Seth MacFarlane. I think they might have gotten Seth MacFarlane for Satan. Now I'm saying that with no Googling it whatsoever. Uh, I gotta say this about it. This is like one of the best things of the game. Just the flying. And of course, the weapons. Like in. The powers are pretty much going to be the same as Saints Row 4. Not too much to go on there. The weapons, though, just because you're in hell, there's going to be seven deadly sin weapons. And you got to do a bunch of challenges to get them. My favorite is the Pistol of the Gallows Dodger, just because it's OP as all living hell. And you get this cool-ass sword, too. Yeah, sexy. And also, you might notice this one thing already. You're not hearing music. There's a reasonable explanation for that. Although not too reasonable, just because there is no music to the game. Like really, I'm I'm not put, gonna put anything in. For Gotta this. pick it up. This is like one of the one of the things I'm really griping on about this game. One thing that's always been awesome about Saints Row games was they put the time and effort and money to just license music to use. But not, nope, not for this one. Not the first Saints Row for the newest generation of consoles, no, no, no. And speaking of which, it's really a letdown. Especially since, like, Saints Row 4 wasn't the best Saints Row, or at least it was a lot better than Saints Row. And I'm harping on, like, a lot of the bad things about this game, but there is a lot of good things. The level designs... Or at least the part that isn't supposed to look like Steelport is pretty cool. And really make use of your flying. Woo! And a lot of your supporting characters are pretty <laughs> cool too, like Blackbeard, Dracula, William Shakespeare. Yeah, William Shakespeare's in hell. Deal with that, drama geeks. This is what I'm talking about. And of course, like uh, I'm pretty sure y'all seen, you you guys know the story and seen like the devil's daughter and the whole singing. That was pretty funny. 
Only Saints Row can make a dev see what these things can make can a Disney-esque song sequence in hell. And there's a lot... This game is one of those games that has a lot of potential, but they didn't realize it. And like, for all the cool, awesome shit in the game, it doesn't make up for it just Woo! lacking. At least you get to kill Professor Genki. Now, of course, you, if, in case you haven't heard, you get to kill Dex. Over. And over and over, and it's satisfying. Nice. I, I don't see why they couldn't just have released this as DLC for Saints Row 4. I know, like, the whole story between Saints Row 4 being right. starting out as a DLC pack for Saints Row 3, but just because that worked out once doesn't mean it could work again for this. But damn it, they tried and didn't really work. God, this feels good. Oh, if you're wondering how Johnny gets his wings and stuff, he gets the Devil's Broken Halo. And that's all we're told about. This is what I'm talking Not like, about. We don't get to see a cool transformation cutscene or nothing, or we're just told it through the storybook. At least the flying save. The flying is cool. Not so much saves the game, but it's cool. Yeah! I just want so much more from the game. If I didn't get the price I got it, which was pretty fucking cheap, I wouldn't have played it. I, I, you guys might know, I'm a little harsh on this Gotta game. Gotta find more just of these I'm su I am a fan of the Saints Row games. They're one of my. F I prefer them over GTA, and I wanted it to be good. And I'm not just like grinding on it just to be me. I'm, I want it to be good because I enjoy the games. Woo! Like, hell. I'm in hell. And where else in video games could you ride <laughs> an armchair with machine guns that shoots motherfucking rockets? Never should have fucked with me. No, really, where else? I'm genuinely asking at this point. They God, had, this feels they good. They had potential. They really, they had the potential to make this a really get great standalone title in the Saints Row game. Well, looky here series, but they just missed the opportunity. I don't know if it's just because, like, technically, the original company who made Saints Row isn't making it, or they just themselves can't capture the same magic the old Saints Row games had. Damn it, I'm still gonna play it. Because in just games nowadays, kind of washing and repeating a lot of the same things, it's nice to see something at least try. Granted, they did keep a lot of the same stuff from the last game, but they did add a good amount of stuff. And the story was well written. It was funny, definitely was... You can't mistake, this was a Saints Row game. Yeah! Fucking collectibles. And Johnny Gat. For him, the game would have just die. If, like, you had to pick, play as Pierce or something. Like, who the fuck wants to play as Pierce? Or that one dorky British dude that gets to bone that hot chick. I can see people wanting to play as Kenzie or Shandy, but... Granted, they would want to be able to choose what Shandy wears. Well, who doesn't want to be Gat? Well, anyway, this is Air Man. Remind that you guys Gotta all Gotta pick it up! And signing off. Peace, motherfuckers. I bet you thought I was gonna land in the lava. <laughs> Peace, everybody. Uh, I guess if I had to rate this game, I'm gonna give it a pretty low rating. I'm rating this a two, seven deadly sins out of five. Goodbye. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did. Hit that like button and share it amongst your socials. If you want to talk to me and have future suggestions for other videos, tell me in the comments below. I will check them out. Also, check out some of my other videos. There should be some annotated things for you to click on to take you to them. Also, subscribe. Now this air man, remind that you guys all rock and signing off. Peace. You saw through the letters, you counted the cards I had a young boy 
his heart.